this heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Vulcan Uzdemir. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you just close. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Vulcan No Time Uzdemir. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Nice one-two there. Beautiful spinning attack there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. 
All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man, head kick land. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful body kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Three minutes. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Right. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time grabbing a kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it will not feel good. So just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Volkanuzda. shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing and show and talk to your toe. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Kick to the body by Lee. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by Ustami. Two next. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. here, but just out of range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Out of range with that one. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice punch by Ustami. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice. Just misses with a left hook there. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. This is effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Three minutes remain in the run. Tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ustavir gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big head kick lands. Kick. 
prominence blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for Volkanovski. Well, in terms of... Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hukan No Time, who's the here? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.